Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. It's a beautiful day in Colorado. The rain has finally stopped. Now we're probably going to miss it though. I am at the thrift store. Hi, hi, you guys. <laughs> we're headed in. Okay, we're in. I stopped to talk to Sam, the security guard, for a moment. He's usually at the north location. And I was explaining to him about that sound, why I'm down here filming instead of that one. <laughs> and he said he has tinnitus and he totally hears it and it's brutal for him. Oh, now this big ceramic cat, they put good eyes on it. I, oh, this would have to be a booth though, not for the cat sale. $16.99. I don't see what mold it was. That's that's the biggest, the fluffiest one I've ever seen. It's about 16 inches. But look at the eyes again. There we go. I got it to focus. They put some glass marble eyes in there. That's nice. Well, that's a cute little dove. Oh, it looks a little older. $1.99. Everything's on sale but yellow. $2.99. I'm not sure what it is. Listen to it. <laughs> it's cute. Someone repainted her. That's a shame. Okay, let's see what's in the mod box. I have to know. We're going to open it up. Okay, it is full of four, two layers, eight little cubes with this same pattern all around it. No name anywhere. But you know what? It's half price, so $1.50. And I'm going to be doing an 80s, 90 display at my booth. I'm going to put those in there for fun. Just sell each block separately. That'll be fun. <laughs> okay, I think he's sick, right? We can't wait. Really... Is that the one that's sick? So... Oh boy, vintage vibes. All right, 193. All right, I don't know. Gondor, Carmark. Hard to say. Nice cornucopia and a baby blue, but 9.99. Maybe next visit if it's on sale. Oh, look at this Avon cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's I'm not sure I really want to add this I've been just kind of sticking with the ones that you know the whole thing is like glass or ceramic but she is cute oh someone upcycled that Harlequin oh, what is this little doodad looks Greek definitely vintage Too cheap to pay five dollars. <laughs> yes, I am. Too cheap to pay five dollars. <laughs> a... Kate Mason. I think that's a name. I think that's a modern name. If I pulled that out of the bins, I would get it. Love these. This one's kind of a hot mess, though. How much is it? One ninety-nine. Only a dollar. Okay. I'll try to fix it for a dollar. I love those. Oh, there's another cat. This one just has the painted eyes. This one is $9.99. Look how big it is. Almost 20 inches long this way. I wish it was painted a little better. That's tempting for the booth. Tempting, tempting. Wooden. There's some dolls. Let me take a peek. Nope. Plates, plates, plates. And we're going to find another aisle. <laughs> okay, 
here we are turned around this is marble that's a cute train let's see if it's musical it is too cracked and chipped that's cute So, yeah, that's glass. I couldn't tell if it was glass or pottery at first. Hand painted satin frosted basket. Not a hundred percent. See these little teacups or demitas? Demitas? see if this is somebody oh no they just painted <laughs> this is just someone just painted not a bad effort country apple pie I'm wanting to see what this metal thing is that's a cool panel two dollars The only thing I could think of that would be to make it super cool would be to use it in some stained glass project. And my mom would probably be offended because she paints on glass. She's like an expert painter. Those of you that are new might not have heard this story, but they, my brother, when he had his stained glass business before he went haywire, he, um, my mom worked for him with him and they got hired to redo the Catholic Basilica in Denver before the Pope was coming through. They did restoration work, which you have to be pretty good to be able to be hired for that. And so my mom's and my brother's work, wait a minute, I'm gonna see who this is, Ben Loyal. We better look that up. Yeah, for $2, we better look this up. So you can see their work. It was a huge and high dollar project. And I remember once my brother cutting glass into panels like this and etching and frosting with his laser machine and beveling. And um, I remember going with him to help him put it in a restaurant in Golden, Colorado. We would go up after they closed, they would lock us in all night. And then we would get out in the morning when the workers came in. But we got it done in two days. Oh my gosh, that was the late 90s. Oh, that's pretty. $6.99. Studio Pottery signed. That's not bad. Just feeling cheap again today. You know, some days it's ridiculous. You guys probably get so aggravated. <laughs> It's like, are you going to buy anything or not? <laughs> I know, right? But got to watch your buy-in. And that looks like a 70s thing. Let's see. Monty and Gal. Painted. $2.99. I should look that name up. Let's do that. Oklahoma. Backing up so we could look at the bottom. Don't see anything. And here is a nice backup view for those of you that love it like that. Nice and slow. Okay, I'm going to turn around. There's the book department. Here's this side. You know, we remember we just did that. We looked at that blue thing. We looked at the cat. <laughs> that looks like a repop, that clock. I know. All right, let's find something else. Okay, I had to do this without you. They were playing a song that had a serious repetitive hook that was very recognizable. So, YouTube bots would not have been happy. <laughs> 
So here's what happened. This is cute, just a little homemade piece. Stick it in the booth. It's gonna be three dollars. Leslie's Craft Carousel, Montana. And these always sell well. Now this is a lower end one. It's not like Ormalu or anything, but it is vintage. It does have the feet on it too. So you can use it as a tray or you can hang it. I'm gonna replace whatever they might need to hang it. This is probably like uh, 20, 22 dollar. The Ormalu that I just sold was 55. The only thing I saw in here was this with the Scavo texture. I expected to find a signature. Now I haven't, but I'm still going to pay seven dollars for it because I personally love it. And look, it's got. Wait a minute. And look at that iridescent on it. I do love this. So even if it's very, very modern, that's still beautiful. And I don't recall seeing anything like that at uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, blah, 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 etc. <laughs> so. I'm gonna do that. Let's come around here. Wait a minute, I see something. What is that one? Temperware by Lennox Magic Garden, made in USA. It's only $5.99. I have never seen their cookware. What is that about a let me see, two, three quart? It doesn't say how big microwave oven safe so what 80s 90s kind of like that some corningware in the back all right let me stay on track okay this is worth about 30 ish plus shipping on well ebay now on replacements.com they're asking like a hundred and something uh, that ain't what's happening on ebay all right let's turn around i pulled this out of the wood section and set it here this is Japan lacquerware, and I would totally get it if it wasn't so roached. It's good here, though, with the abalone or shell, a little bit of frit, $6.99, but uh, this is new, 2012. Let me back up and see if we see anything here. Little doggy gold coming off of this too much and it might be missing a stopper but I like that pattern on there let's back up a few more vases yeah let's see what they have okay well that's a cute angel stiffened crochet right okay we're going to head into the aisles after we do the end caps. Really nothing to get excited about on the end caps, but I will prove it to you as I walk back down to start in the aisles. Looks pretty though. Well, wait a minute. Let's check this. That's Italy, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably an Italian piece for only $2. That's not bad. So I was wrong. And then this one, the only thing I kind of like is the 80s canisters, but they're not in that good enough shape, okay? Canisters just sell well out of the booth. I wouldn't be too excited about shipping them, but they sell well out of the booth. Let me see what this is, even though it's pinky peach. I like that swirl. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to get that for me. $6.99. I don't even know whose it is. I'll worry about it later. I love... Oh darn it, there's even a chip. I'm going to see if they'll give me a little off because of that chip. Because that's for me. And I'll have mom grind that down. I love that. For the safety of small children, please be sure they are supervised at all times. 
Let's see how old this might be. That would be a nice mod little thing. Oh, you know what these are? These are great. You put these on your candles to catch the drip. You put these on your candle to catch the drip. That's what they're called. I don't know how to say it, but I looked it up a couple years ago when I found a vintage one with all these like dangles on it. Yeah, that's what those are. And the reason I love them so much is because, I mean, I'm not gonna get those at that price. They'll probably make it to the sale. The reason I love those is because, or finding out about that, is a lot of times I see really cool candlesticks, but I'm paranoid. And I'm like, unless it has like a drip catcher or something, I'm paranoid for people, so I don't do it. Because I just don't want to be involved if something goes wrong. But that solves part of the problem. I had to do Mug Life without you. I'm over a speaker, or I'm under a speaker. So I did it without you. Let me back up though and keep talking, just chitter chatting and see if I can give you guys a few moments to look at everything, okay? So, um, passing on this one, even though it's new in box, because this is a Royal Dalton Ellen DeGeneres collab. It's only $2. I kind of hate to pass on it, but I think everybody's mad at her right now, right? Let me think about it. Let me put it in the cart and I'll think about it. But what I did pull out that I'm going to get, I'm going to put this in my bridal department. It's only $1.99, Ray Dunn, of course. And a treasure craft looking. Not quite sure if that's treasure craft or Sokoa or whatever. <laughs> but I like it. $2. I'm going to get that. And of course, I'm getting the Star Trek Stein. Definitely. This is so fun. It's $5. It's from 2016. It's so funny, you guys. Beverage containment system authorized personnel only. My husband teases me and talks like that. Like, you know, because he's kind of like an engineer, sort of, IT-ish, sort of. What else? Financial analyst. You know, he's got that mindset. So, you know, <laughs> when he tells me stuff, He'll like he'll say, I have given the dog nutritional supplement and now we are going on a you know, <laughs> just for fun, just to tease me. $3.99, that's half price. That's got the mermaid on it. I missed that one. It's got a lot of scratches in the middle. But Barkeeper's friend usually gets that out. To Sonya, 2008. Okay. This is kinda epic. <laughs> oh she put in a sketching of that person's dog. Okay, that's kind of epic. $1.99. Let me set that there for a minute because something about that I want. I'm going to pass on that Starbucks. Oh yeah, I want this. I think this will be worth a little over $20. It's in great shape. It's going to the booth where I do well putting it in my iconic section. Oh, yes, and I'll take this one. This one looks good. Yeah. Okay. There was something else I passed on. Oh. There was something else, but I'm going to pass on it. This is Vintage Family Line by Anna Tomhill. This is about a $15 mug, actually. Plus shipping on eBay. And all of that utensil scratching probably would come out. I was hoping it was going to be something like a what is it ng and taylor i think is what sells for a lot more all right i'm gonna get out from underneath this speaker sorry y'all couldn't do this with me and over and out for this aisle <laughs> headed back toward the artwork oh my gosh iron butterfly i wish that cover was in better shape inagata devita oh that song is so great so great oh wow all of the family well that checks all the boxes of politically incorrect <laughs> that checks them all definitely it's that one that, I don't like that frame though that frame is kind of 80s cheesy very fine needlepoint but is that just the print or did they actually do it I think that's just the I don't think they actually did it. Okay, how much was it? 
Only a dollar ninety-nine. Okay, maybe it's just so fine that I can't tell. Hmm. Dang, that's a good price. Dollar ninety-nine. I don't like the frame, but me picky picky. There's a lenticular. I finally broke down and watched this movie. I don't get it though. I'm okay you guys, I'm gonna get all crunchy. I mean Audrey Hepburn, of course, cutie pie to the max. But that breakfast at Tiffany's, I mean, it kinda is like the way I feel about pretty woman. I'm like, why is that such a big deal? I mean, let's look at the plot line here, okay? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, let me find something else for us to look at. You guys are gonna giggle. I've been looking for a bedazzler. This is a more modern version, but it's still vintage of the bedazzler. Kathy Mitchell's Gem Magic, and it has not even been unwrapped or used. Half price, I know someone that needs that. I'm gonna get it. Uh-oh, I love those. Hang on. Yes. That's on metal. Okay, totally have to get those. I think you take fire to it or something. Different temperatures and different chemicals. And it'll make different colors like that. <laughs> okay, deers and then dangle down to a little owl. Like it. Oh, those are serious boho. Serious. Let me get those out. Yes. Let me get that for the boho sale. <laughs> you guys, I want to get this in wear for fun. It's just a cheesy little adjustable dollar sign ring for a dollar ninety nine. See it? <laughs> I want to wear that for fun when I'm going live. <laughs> you guys, you know my Thrifty Rich nickname. I'm not Rich Rich. I mean, what I mean by it is, you know, I can buy more stuff than if I was going to the mall or something because I buy so much second hand. That's another boho. That's a boho choker. Yeah, we'll get that for the boho sale. Want to have some jewelry too. I've got some macrame and some cool pottery. Got good stuff. I'm excited to see what AB comes up with. We planned this a while back so that we would have time to make sure that we had cool stuff for you guys. Jewelry and home furnishings and clothing. There's an 80s deal. Go over here. Now, see this stuff that says 925? That is not quality silver. I'm pretty sure that comes from Middle Eastern countries and it's and it's silver, but it's not really 925. It's a different mixture that they do cat pen. Okay, let's get over to the, and, you know, it's pretty scratched up on top, so I hope you guys could see a little bit. Try to angle now and then. See if I find something pretty epic. I'm probably going to look at that one right there. Have them pull that one out. And this one that's half price with the black stones beautiful butterfly. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, I see a few things to have them pull out. All jewelry sales are final, so I do have to have them pull that out and look at it very carefully. So, that is what I'm going to do. I hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, this is going to be super fun. So next Tuesday, June the 27th, Kat, the nurse Flipper, and Rod are going to the List Perfectly convention where she's going to be speaking. So I'm taking over for her that night on her channel, and I got to invite the guest. So my co-host will be Dom, primetime treasure hunter, and my girls Jocelyn, Crazy Lamp Lady, and Lindy Glenn will be coming over. You guys, that's going to be a good one. So I hope you'll come play along with us as we take over Kat's channel for the night. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.